guys, these women are so frustrated with the dating scene right now that they are now pledging to stop using dating apps. A lot of ladies just seem to be frustrated in the fact that they cannot keep a man. Recently deleted my hinge and I don't think I'm ever going back. And so many other women saying that they also deleted the app. Dating apps are no longer for dating. Men have just turned dating apps into like an easier way to access venient SEX. In love, we are kind of meant to be found. We're not meant to be actively trying to find love. It's just supposed to be something you stumble into. I don't understand how men got onto dating apps and were like, oh yeah, this is not going to be for dating. I literally was talking to a guy for a month. I was seeing him almost every single week. Got me a Valentine's Day gift, all this stuff. Woke up one day and was like, I cannot be in a romantic relationship. Why were you on Hinge? I literally matched with another guy and he's like, oh, what are you on here for? Usually when they ask you what are you on here for, they're either because they actually seriously do want a girlfriend, which is like very never, or because they're trying to see if you want to hook up. So I was like, you know what? Let me give this guy like the benefit of the doubt. And I was like, oh, I'm, you know, I'm on here trying to find my husband that I could run around the playground with at 2 a.m., you know, being kiki. This guy goes something similar. I'm also trying to find people to hang out with late at night. I said, hang out with late at night? What do you mean? He goes, what's wrong with that? I said, what are you, what the fuck are you talking about? He's like, I'm trying to find people to hang out with late at night or early mornings. I said, baby, you're looking for a prostitute. That's what you're on this dating app for. A lot of the components of dating apps are just so superficial because I genuinely am such a surface level person on first map. You don't hit everything, all those points. I'm not gonna like you. Most of the men I've ever dated were from dating apps and they were the worst ones, but they were the most beautiful ones. But the guys that I met like either through mutuals or in regular life, they weren't as attractive, but they were so much better. I feel like we get on dating apps because we feel this idea of like scarcity. So hard to find people. I was definitely like that too because I had this whole idea like, fuck, how am I ever gonna find someone? There was a time people dated before dating apps. Like, I think if we all put our fucking foot down and we get off the dating apps, men are gonna go back to talking to women in public because they don't do it anymore because it's just so much easier to go on an app and swipe, 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 swipe. I really feel like when you get out of the mindset of allowing men to like behave mediocrely with you when you get out of that you'll realize that it's almost impossible for someone to come with like the pressure right off a dating app because they've never had a conversation with you in person they don't know who you are how can i expect you to like want to plan an amazing date for me and the only thing you have to go off of is four prompts and some photos of me when somebody meets you in person there's more of that initial connection so they're more likely to be a bit more emotionally involved with you so this is your sign get off the apps go find your man at air one the gym something men do know that dating apps are low-hanging fruit we're gonna play the numbers game online sometimes you hit sometimes you don't men meet a lot of desperate lonely women online so you know some men would just rather play the numbers game on easy mode way to access venient no because let's talk about this I have been complaining about this religiously to my friends back home that there is something wrong with all of the men that are left in the dating pool. What is this thing where like you match with someone online, you go on a few dates, you start to like this person, and then when you're like, okay, let's do this, they're like, wait a minute, did you actually think that I wanted to date you? Are you insane? I recently had this happen to me back to back two to three times, but the most bizarre has to be one of the most recent times. I was matched with this Asian guy named David back in back in July. And honestly, I don't even know why I told you he was Asian. It doesn't actually even matter to the story. But <laughs> basically, David and I had like an immediate like animal attraction connection that was like out of this world right away and immediately we were like this is amazing let's see more of each other i made the mistake of asking what his schedule was like and this is where things started to fall apart because he stopped taking my phone calls would only text me and when i asked what was wrong he was just like oh you're getting too attached and i was like what do you mean he's like well you're asking like my schedule and stuff and i was like yeah so we can link up and make plans and he was like yeah but that's like too much like what next like next week you're gonna figure out trying to figure out how we're gonna get married so he and i stopped talking for a few weeks after that then at the end of the summer we linked up again and i went to spain during my trip in spain david was talking to me every day sending me sexy photos and videos we were having a grand old time in the dms and text then all of a sudden one day ghost this man was obviously in a relationship or he was married. This lady here was just a side chick. Ghost. 
stop responding to me, wouldn't acknowledge anything I said to him, and after I tried reaching out to him two days in a row, told me that I was behaving like a stalker and to take a hit, bro, and to leave him alone. So I did. He proceeded to uh, block me on his phone, unfollow me on Instagram, and so I was like, okay, that's it, things are done. Tell me why from September to January, David would pop up in my, my Instagram stories every week. I would see him watching my Instagram stories. Do you understand how bananas it is to block and delete someone, unfollow them on Instagram, and then to physically type their name in every time you want to sneak and look and watch and see what they're doing? So cut to January, I'm on Hinge. David somehow manages to rematch me. Now what's bizarre is I saw David still connected in my matches in December. So I don't know what he's done to rematch me in, just in January. So I go and I check my phone. I see that I'm no longer blocked. So I text him and I'm like, did you match me on Hinge? And he responds back with, yes, I did. Crickets. Like that's it. Just yes, I did no follow-up and I was like uh I let it sit I let that text sit for one week to see if he would say anything else no follow-up so I was like okay this is getting the better of my curiosity I'm gonna do it for the plot I rematch him on hinge and I'm like hey what's going on buddy he's like hey well I see that you're still on here and I uh sent you an apology like three weeks after we stopped talking but you never responded because you blocked me so i was like oh okay long story short we reconnected we hung out for this whole weekend had the most amazing weekend his best friend was in town all three of us hang out hung out when we weren't hanging out the three of us the two of us were like back to normal being very very lovey-dovey having a grand all time at the end of this weekend, I kid you not, I tried to pull this man into an embrace while we were walking his jog, and I'm not even joking, I literally got one of these, like, and I, like, like my soul left my body, because so I was like, what is going on, and he's like, don't get attached to me, do not get attached to me, I have never been in a situation where one person has tried so hard to get back a hold of me, to get back into my life, to rematch me on a dating website. And then when I forgive them and let them back in, then I'm told to not get a... <sighs> I went home and I was just like, I need to think, you know. The following weekend, I see that he goes out and he's clearly on a date. I don't know who with, but I message him because now I'm like, I'm livid. And I'm just like, what the, like, what is going on? Why are we doing this? Why did you rematch me? Why? Like, why are you back in my life? Like, I was doing okay. I had started getting better. I had started moving on. Why are you here? And he was like, what do you mean? I was like, why would you match me? If you have no actual intention of dating me and he's like I told you like I thought we actually cleared this up because we did have a conversation about all the stuff that went wrong and one of the things that he told me was that he is struggling with his emotions and he needs to like work on his self and he has anger management problems because of what his ex did to him and he's trying to get better but yeah he does hope that one day he's gonna find someone who's gonna give him butterflies and be able to fix him and when I told him how messed up an ideal that was he was like no, no no I'm half joking I don't really mean that but I do have a lot of things that I'm working through so I'm not really in a state to date anybody and I was just like but then you went through all that effort to literally match me on a dating website to date me so it would make it make sense and he started acting like I was the insane one and he was just like I already told you I'm not in a position to date anyone and I was like then why are you on this website and he was like I don't, I don't know. I don't know why I'm on there because I do want to find someone, but at the same time, I don't want to find someone. I'm also very confused too, but I do know that I can't like be with you and you like already expect too much and you're already too attached. So like, I need to like do my own thing and you need to go do your own thing too. I, uh, I just, I, I don't know. I just don't know what to do anymore. I think it's just time to, um, abandon this planet and, and maybe just find men on mars it really don't sound like he was too interested in her and i think that rejection that he gave her is a real issue 
but they will go back to these men at the drop of a hat. As soon as this man want her back, he can get her back. A lot of guys, not all, they get on these dating apps looking for women to hook up with and they look for women to have sex with for a couple of weeks and then you probably ghost her if she's not bringing value to your life. I want to know how a n can spend all this money on you, f the skin off you, then ghost you. Ooh. Oh no, uh, he can't ghost me, I need my skin back. That's what I'm saying. Did you see the red flags and did you pretend like they were not there? Talk about it. Jesus. But hold on though, because a lot of the times we like red flags, red flags, right. But you don't know what to look for if you don't know what to look for. So a lot of right. the times we don't know that certain things are red flags. So what are some examples of red flags? If, if what a person does makes you question your worth or influences some type of doubt in you, if a person betrays you, if there is some wrongdoing, if what you believe that they're, in, that they're doing is morally unethical, that is more than likely a red flag. The reason why we don't see these things is because we don't know our standards because we haven't taken the time to get to know ourselves. But the red flags were there. Based off of what you said, because I'm listening to everything that's been said, but based off of what you said, I guarantee you the red flags were there and I guarantee you pretended like they, did, they didn't exist because you wanted to rationalize his behavior so he can stay there. I think what you did was sacrifice bits and pieces of yourself for the sake of that relationship and now you've come to the mic because you want somebody over here to rationalize what it is, but the truth is the dude just didn't rock with you. Is you it? need to accept that for what it is. But that's all I got in this video. You guys drop a comment down below. Let me know what you thought about what the lady had to say regarding the hinge dating apps and do you think these women will ever delete any of these dating apps because i don't think they will they delete them and then they reinstall them anyway don't forget to hit that subscribe button like the video thanks for watching i will see you in the next one